SLR exercises can also be prescribed with traction. So in this case, the exercise is known as traction with SLR. The indication for this technique is those patients who complain of low back pain with referral into the glutes and posterior thigh region, but not beyond the knee joint. The technique can also help in treating those patients who have reduced hamstring flex flexibility and reduced SLR range. So to perform the technique, the patient has to be on a very low couch and the therapist is going to stand on the side that needs to be treated. So now let's say for this particular patient, if we do the SLR, the symptom starts appearing at this particular range. So from here, the cephalate hand of the therapist is going to grab the distal leg proximal to the ankle joint, whereas the elbow joint of the corded hand is going to further reinforce this grip and is going to apply a traction to the patient's lower limb. So the traction is going to fall across the line and the knee should remain extended. Now while applying this traction, the therapist is going to increase the patient's SLR range while monitoring the symptoms and at the end range is going to hold this traction for around 10 to 15 seconds and then is going to slowly return the leg back to the starting position. For patients who are relatively taller, must be made to lie down on a yoga mat over the surface before practicing this particular technique. So a quick recap, take the leg into its limitation of the SLR range, hold with the mentioned grip, use your knee to deliver the traction and take the leg into the symptom free end range, hold there for 10 seconds and then return back to the starting position. The dosage is three to six repetitions on the first visit. I sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is going to be helpful for you all. Do keep motivating us with your comments and feedback. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing, stay connected.